Hello everybody and welcome to Quality Gaming Community Esports. We're hopping into another match we're going to spectate here in Mobile Royale Trios. We have our two players here. They're going to be going up against the lobby and see if they can come away with the victory. Right now we are spectating Mobile Royale, which is the smaller map. So we are already at the second circle. Loadouts have already landed. Uh, we know that there is a, a couple players in... Oh, we see some going go down up on the hill there. I think that's where the other uh, the other team might be moving. Let's see if our teammates can get over to their loadout as we see some people go down there. Is it good down? Commotion slowing down a little bit. I believe, yeah, he still has the Castle 545 and the Vaznik 9K. Oh, but now he's taking some shots in the back. And he's going to go down. Where are those shots coming from? Up high on the hill towards their loadout, it looks like. And now gas is coming. And there they go. Don't worry. We're going to pop into spectating. We're going to continue in this match. We're going to hop on to Super Zoglo. And I'm not going to be able to say either of these names. I believe I'm going to be able to pull up our first, for the first time today, our uh, featured loadout. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. As we have the Arm 9, which just got a buff, and it's going to look very good. I don't know what the secondary... Oh, the secondary looks like it is an MTZ Interceptor, so this is a very good loadout. It's got a long range and close range, along with the Thermal... I'm sorry, the Thermite and the Tear Gas and the Dead Eye Perk Package. Let's see if this is going to be the loadout that's going to carry us to the victory. All right, let's see. Line up some shots here. This is the MTZ Interceptor. Now, this can... I, I did a video about this. Look at that. Look how quick this goes down. Three to four body shots is a down with this gun. It is going to be... Uh, it's going to have an adjustment soon, but they did not do it in this patch. I think the, their idea was they wanted to buff some guns before they start uh, nerfing some guns. But this one is definitely a powerhouse right now. This is the MTZ Interceptor. And now we have the Arm 9 SMG going in close for the finishes. Hopping into match number two here, we have Gaz and Milax to start out going into the match. It looks like Gaz is heading towards the loadout, so we're going to see maybe we get a loadout. Uh, one kill on Gaz, let's say Milax has two kills over here. Let's take a look at what guns Milax is currently running. Off the rip, they got the FSS Hurricane and the MTZ 556. Um, and then let's take a look over at Gaz. What's Gaz's loadout? Gaz, what are you rocking? Although you're coming up to the loadout and that means it. we're gonna take another look at the quality gaming feature loadout as we see the holger 556 and i know it says fist for secondary but we saw that is the cat sniper rifle going with the throwing knife and the smoke grenade that way if they get into trouble they toss down a smoke and they can get away as we see some snipes going off now so we need to get back into gameplay here as we see that one snipe hit and then going off with the holger for the close range kills Cleaning up that team. Oh, is another person comes sliding in right next to him. He's gonna clean that one up as well. Nice clean triple kill. Okay, one person up high. Sees him. Do doesn't quite take shots yet. They're fighting each other. Gaz is gonna take out one. Gonna take out. Oh, that lays down there. Nice little drop. Gonna be able to take out. Oh, with the sniper rifle misses the first shot. Teammate took him down though. This guy's gonna get the finish here. No, Milex is gonna go in for the kill. Self revive going off. Not quite. Gaz and Milax come away with the war zone victory. GG's. The teamwork wins and come away with the war zone victory. All right, everybody. Welcome to Quality Gaming Community Esports Warzone Mobile. This is our third and final match on the day. Hopping in. Just We're going to swap over to the guy in the car. Just rolling all around. Can't quite hit the... Hit the hit the kills there he's gonna hop out and try to take out i think this was with the mtz 556 very clean shots there take getting the kill gonna turn around try to get behind him because hit a couple shots there oh gonna go in with the with the lockman 680 does take two pumps but ends up getting the kill as our other players out in the middle of the some field shots over here to the south and someone flying in gonna try to pick up the car kill does not get it. he's gonna hop out no stays in the car he's gonna take some shots there he's gonna rotate back Nope, still not quite. He's got to go for the car kill again. You don't have enough speed to get the kill with that. Oh, I... Apparently, I'm wrong. Every time I try to run over somebody at that speed, it doesn't do anything. Anytime I try to run over somebody at full speed, it doesn't do anything. Apparently, 
I don't have the gift with the cars. I still have yet to see what the secondary gun is here, but the MTZ 556 is going to take some shots there. Slide down the hill a little bit to rotate away. He's going to be able to get the down and the kill as Artom goes down again. I wish I was able to spectate him to see what was happening as that's the second time they've gotten into action. It has been gone down. Now the teammate's going to go. As you see, shots coming from behind. He's going to be able to readjust Bachao without rearming. It's going to go down because of that. If you have the cover, go for the... Oh, actually got shot from behind. But even if you have the cover, you got to go for the the armor there. The, the Ego Chow is probably a little bit too much there. This is a full team here. Oh, go ahead. This is a good time to take out the future loadout. This is going to be the Wasp Swarm, and I don't know. Uh, this is the Bass B, I believe. This is the Bass B uh, battle rifle, I believe. I uh, don't quote me though. Oh, MTZ goes down. He's upstairs in the. He's upstairs in that building. Let's see if the other two players can take him out. The gas is going to be rotating out. This player is doing the right thing, staying up on the hill, keeping the advantage. Sees him through the window, takes a couple shots, breaks the armor, throws in a thermite and a. Oh, he went to throw in the shock stick the first time, accidentally threw the knife. But it's going to make it so that player has a hard time getting out. He's able to get out. He's going to get shots as that person gets behind the rock. I believe they might have downed them behind the rock. The other player better have a gas mask. They're going to try to get out of there. They're going to try to peek it. Oh, they do get some good shots off. It's, but they are in the gas. So they're going to be taking damage that whole time. They're going to have to get behind the... And there's the down. It's just a number situation there. It was a 3v1... They were able to take out one, but when it comes down to it, the teamwork wins. And there we have it. Quality gaming, community esports. That's how easy it is. We hop in, we spectate. You got the replays. You got the commentary play-by-play. -play. We assess the loadouts. We do it top to bottom. We're here for the community to show up what you got to offer. Let's do it. Quality gaming. Growth in ourselves our community, and the community of the games we play.